Cryptos is a pain in the ass in Canada. Yeah, I wish Voyager was here so uh, I can just directly connect my bank account to the Voyager platform. But uh, I feel like Canada is just, you know, they're so behind on, on crypto. They're like, you know, they're very careful. They don't, I don't know. It's, it's a pain in the ass in Canada to do crypto. Um, like, so let me explain, you know, First of all, you know, I have money, right? I can't just take 20, 30, 40k, throw it right into the uh, those crypto exchanges. I have to do it very, very slowly. So what I would have to do is I would have to basically deposit money into my TD account and then use my TD account to buy crypto. But my TD account only allows me to buy three thousand dollars of crypto a day i just changed that limit to five thousand that's the maximum they allow me and uh bmo only allows me to e-transfer ten thousand dollars a week so if i wanted to put more money into the td account i would have to um withdraw cash or a check or whatever and then put it into the TD account directly and uh, you know so you know now I'm opening up a second account uh, Royal Bank of Canada because they also have a, D a Visa debit card I asked them there if they uh, if they do crypto and nobody knows anything they're like oh, I don't know it's like do you have a Visa debit card they're like yeah we have Visa debit card and then I was like, okay, you know what? I'll just sign up an account. I'm going to see if uh, I'm able to buy crypto in our, uh, Royal Bank of Canada. If I can't, then I guess I'll just pull that cash out, close up the account, and deposit it into TD. I'll find a new account, a bank account that allows me to do cryptos because <laughs> BMO doesn't allow me to do it. So TD does allow me to do it with the Visa debit card, but... Royal Bank of Canada does not allow me to do it. Such a pain in the ass. Such a pain in the ass. Like, I just wish Voyager was here. I can link my BMO with Voyager. I know BMO has a partnership with, uh, with uh, Voyager because that's what is presented on the investor presentation. BMO is partnered up with Voyager. Are they par partners with Voyager? I don't know in what extent they are, but that's, you know, that's what is on the investor presentation. So I just really hope Voyager comes to Canada and then I can directly connect my T, uh, my BMO to Voyager and then I can finally start trading, uh, just transfer money directly to my Voyager account. Don't have to go through this pain in the ass way of getting Voyager, uh, sorry, to get uh crypto uh money into these exchanges to buy cryptos and plus i kind of want to support voyager and so that's why i want to set, set up an account with voyager digital and i think that's the the interest rate on voyager is pretty cool you know just saying anyways uh that's all i really have to say in this video uh you know uh it looks like voyager had a really good day today up 8.34 percent me, Kevin, has short-term pressure, big money, be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, we're not allowing the stock to go down. So, uh, it is up today. You know, very good. I'm very happy. Um, so, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for future updates, and have a great day. Bye.